Right now, a Peach County jury deciding if Lonnie Shaw brandished a handgun at a deputy who shot him in 2016. Chelsea Bimefor has been in the courtroom all week long. She joins us now live with the latest. Chelsea. Yeah, Frank and Lori, in just the last 20 minutes, that jury went behind closed doors to start discussing what their verdict would be. But this afternoon, during their closing statements, the defense told the jury to believe their eyes and remember what they saw in the surveillance video of the shooting. Shaw's lawyers argues that the video evidence never shows Shaw raising a gun at Deputy Brandon Williams. The prosecution says that's because Shaw took a step backwards into the house out of view from the camera, and that's when Shaw began raising the weapon. The state also told the jury that Shaw knew who was at the door. That's why he greeted Deputy Williams by saying yes, sir, and still took a gun with him to the door. And one try to he pointed it without saying it. That's a big point. Do not let the state confuse you. He looked at that monitor, his wife looked at that monitor, he knew who was there. Now, Shaw testified this morning and said he was surprised to find those deputies on his front porch in 2016. He says he never heard his wife tell him that she might have seen deputies on their video surveillance monitor. And if he would have known that there were deputies on his front porch, he says he would not have taken a gun with him. For now, reporting live in Peach County, Chelsea Bime for 13 WMAZ News. Thank you, Chelsea. Now, we want to correct part of our story from last night. In 2016, a grand jury indicted Lonnie Shaw for allegedly pointing a gun at the Peach County deputies. Then, in 2018, Shaw was indicted again, but this indictment says Shaw brandished the gun rather than pointing it. In April, prosecutors dropped that original 2016 indictment. Shaw on trial right now on that 2018 charge, which is brandishing the gun, not pointing his gun at the officers.